If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. People are nice, but it's only for the tips The weather's fine, but it's nothing I would miss My only friends are the ones I left behind Wish I could see them just for a moment Cause I don't know anybody here, it's awfully lonely I smile, but they just stare And I see misery everywhere, it's getting to me campus today but given that the temperature dropped to minus 10 so it feels like minus 15 it's not that cold but given that the weather dropped from yesterday yesterday we were minus 5 I just kind of felt like lazy to go to school and although I got ready I mean I like getting ready every day just to show up to work because I find that I present my best self in this way uh, and I'm just able, I guess it's just like a psychological thing that I just feel presentable so I'm ready to like attack my work day. But given that the temperature dropped and they're also predicting uh, snow, I just decided to stay home. And anyways, I find that I work better at home just because I have, you know, my screen and my laptop so I'm able to work on like multiple documents at the same time and it just makes my workflow easier. Going to campus, I'm able to focus more because I have less distractions. Um, so when I go to campus, I like to, you know, schedule to read there because I'm able to focus way more. And when it comes to just like working, I like to do it from home. But, you know, I, I it, it depends. It depends how I feel. I never had a home office until the pandemic. So just being at home, comfortable in my things makes me work better i find i know some people like going back to work or going to work at campus and i like that too but for days where i have a lot to do i prefer to stay home because i'm able to you know buy my not buy but like get myself a little coffee make myself a little breakfast or lunch have snacks like i'm able to have everything with me and my husband's not home so it's less distracting when he's home so for example for monday it was family day so we decided to just spend some time together and do things around the house and then yesterday tuesday he was just feeling a little bit sick i think he just has like I, honestly it's because of like the extreme weather change it really does affect the body so he was just not feeling well so he decided to stay home that's why we went out for a little breakfast yesterday but when he's here i'm i'm a bit distracted right because we get to talk so you know if we both decide to make coffee at the same time or tea we end up talking and things like that and i like it because most of the time i am home alone which is kenzo and miguel but when he's home, I'm definitely more distracted. So today he is not home and he's not going to be home for the rest of the week because he has to go to work. So given that I pretty much took Monday and Tuesday off, I decided not to take the Friday off and my husband is going to be out of the house for the next three days. So I'm able to concentrate and do my schoolwork. Today is going to be a writing day. I need to get that paper uh, written it's for a conference that I have in May and I just have to write it up and send it to my supervisor I already have like I, my my abstract was already accepted so it's just like finalizing the papers so I can actually present it and I'm quite excited about this event because it's going to be in French it's going to be my first conference in French I mean I've only been to one conference and that was last year for um S 
ABIC Jamaica. Unfortunately, I did not get to go there physically, but I was there present online and it was a great experience. So I'm looking forward to um, the conference in May. And honestly, I hope that more conferences kind of pop up because it just would be a great opportunity for me to pr uh, practice public speaking. And I find that making these YouTube videos is actually helping me a lot with public speaking because I'm more aware of what I'm saying and I also take my time to express myself so um yeah so I'm going to be working on that paper today and tomorrow we're going to go to campus because I have a coffee date with a colleague of mine and I also have to go drop off a book that um is due so we're gonna go to campus tomorrow and I'm thinking that I might go to campus on Friday as well just because I do have to get some readings done and I'll just be able to focus a little bit more. So today we're going to do a lot of writing work at home. Tomorrow we're going to have um, some coffee with a friend and go drop off, kind of run little university errands and also spend some time there to work on things or whatever I need to get done. Um, and then Friday, if I don't go to campus, then I'm gonna stay home and it's going to be a grading day because the class that I'm TAing, they submitted all of their essays. So I have essay grading to do. I hope I get some really good essays because this is a second year class and sometimes, you know, they just ramble on, which is not bad. I mean, I get it, I was there. But when you're grading, it's like, <laughs> but anyways for that aside that's the plan for the next three days and then i'm hoping to have the weekend off i mean me and my husband didn't plan anything this weekend so we're probably just gonna take it easy maybe we'll go thrifting maybe we'll go out for lunch somewhere nice um but given that the weather is supposed to drop down to minus 25 we might just stay home because that's really cold to start off i'm going to send out a few emails that i need to answer and i need to send out and then after that i'm going to start writing um and then i'll check in with you guys later a little check-in so it's noon and i just uh, made myself a little lunch so i took some of kenzo's rice with peas and carrots because that's what i meal prep for him with whatever meat i have on hand and i made myself two little um fried eggs and some olive mix this olive mix is like spicy so i like to add it as like a little crunch of spice to my dishes and then I just um, seasoned it with a little bit of um, everything bagel seasoning and the rice I put a little bit of mayo because I love my rice with mayo so for the last hour and a half I just put one more load of laundry I've had a lot of laundry to do because I had to clean like the bed sheets the shower curtains all of the mats and stuff like that so this week has been laundry heavy um, so I put the last load of laundry in the laundry and then I um, finish meal prepping Kenzo's food and I answer some of e uh, some emails so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna start uh, working but before I actually get into it and like forget about everything else I'm going to just take like 10 minutes to eat my lunch and then after that I will start working
It is 3.40 right now and I have been working for about three hours. I was able to get some really work, really good work done. Um, I've been working on that piece that I mentioned that I'm going to be presenting at a conference in May. And really the pieces do as soon as possible because I have to write it in English and then I have to translate it into French because the conference will be in French. So um, it's kind of like a writing pro process that I have to go through. So I have to write it in English, send it to my supervisor who will review it. And then once they approve it, then I can translate it into French. And so it's quite a lot of work. And this is what it is for me, you know, doing a PhD in my third language you know it's a lot of work but i'm still really happy that i get the opportunity to do this and so um the paper is based on the field work i did for my master's thesis which if you don't know or haven't seen them on my other videos i did my master's in the field of anthropology and my topic of research is the legalization of cannabis in canada and so I joined the first uh, kind of legal cannabis group up here in Canada. And I, you know, I situate my, myself as an apprentice with an expert or experienced home grower who guided me through the whole grow cup. And through my engagements with him in the grow cup, I was able to notice how the legalization and standardization of cannabis in Canada is giving rise to a new phenomenon, which is shaping cultivation practices focused on single um, molecules. So the paper is essentially my methods for writing field notes and, you know, having the conclusions that I did for my master's thesis. So although everything's like fresh in my mind because I did just wrap the master's, um, it's, it's definitely like a little bit frustrating because now, you know, having some, some space in between, I've been able to notice other things. And so while I was writing right now, I just, something else came to mind and I was like, oh, maybe I should like, you know, approach it this other way. So my frustration came from that. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to take a break from writing. I'm probably not going to do any more writing for today because I did three hours of writing and I'm really proud of that. Um, but I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner and clean the house a little bit. I mean, just put things away because I, I cleaned the house yesterday, so it's not dirty. And for the rest of the evening, I think I'm going to do some reading. So tomorrow I'm going to be going to campus and I'm going to continue working on my writing there. But for tonight, I think I just want to do some leisure reading and then tomorrow i'll continue writing and then i will also do my seminar readings tomorrow so i'm probably gonna split my day in two so in the morning i'll probably do the readings because i'm able to concentrate better in the mornings and then in the afternoon where i'm a little bit more creative then that's when i can write so that's what i think is going to be on the agenda tomorrow and then friday um, if I haven't finished the readings and then if I'm still working on writing, then I will do a little bit of that. But then most of the day is probably going to be uh, grading the essays of the class that I'm TA. And then that's probably also going to kind of like bleed into my weekend a little bit. But that's fine because I pretty much took Monday and Tuesday off and it was a much needed rest. So now that I feel good, I can, you know work on my things and I don't really have didn't have anything planned this weekend I just didn't want to do anything before going back to school but I think I'm I might just take Sunday off in any case I am done quote-unquote school work for today and um and yeah so today was was pretty good I mean three hours I'm gonna take that I didn't make like I I read two papers and then reviewed a few other things because yeah, the writing is, is a process, and so um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm writing. It's just like I said, sometimes things get a little bit frustrating, and you're just like, ah, but we got this. We got this, and this is a great opportunity, so um, let's go see what we make for dinner. I'm kind of thinking, because we bought some meat pies, I'm thinking of maybe doing the meat pies with smashed potatoes. I've been craving that. Uh, and maybe a Caesar salad.
I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because it's kind of chilly outside. Like, it's really chilly. Chilly would be good, too. <laughs> Maybe pasta. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go see what we need. It's 5 p.m. and Kenzo just woke up. He has been feeling separation anxiety all day because Papa's not home. So usually when my husband goes back to work, it takes Kenzo one day to readjust to just me and him being home alone. So he spent all day sleeping. That's why you haven't seen him in the vlog. But now he's up and Papa's on his way. So we're just going to read for a little bit. 